we are back with our fourth episode. I mean, that's pretty impressive, Jeff. I mean, we're, we're, we, you know, we're four wines down of like, you know, the hundreds that are made here in North Carolina. And so, and, have, and we're still sitting here, four wines down, and we're doing, we're doing yeah, well. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> our livers are still intact. We're, we're right. good. So, Jeff, quick recap for somebody who may just be tuning in, maybe hasn't watched the first three episodes. Tell them a little bit about what we're doing. Well, what we're doing is we are drinking our way through North Carolina wineries. We're a couple marketing guys, and we've lived in North Carolina a while, and we know there's a thriving wine industry, and we decided that it would be a great idea to, as we are learning more about North Carolina wine, to help you learn more about North Carolina wine. Uh, we're taking a look at the, the wines, looking at the packaging, talking about where it's from a little bit, and then we're tasting the wine, and... Right. Letting, you, letting you know what we think. Well, basically, I mean, the U.S. is known for a few wine-growing states, California, New York, Washington State, Oregon. But North Carolina is kind of in that second-tier batch of the up-and-coming uh, states to produce wine. So, we, you know, I've had wine from North Carolina that's not good. But I've had wine from North Carolina that's very good. Right. So, basically, we want to find out what it takes to make a good North Carolina wine. So we're going to talk with winemakers and, and vineyard owners. But we're also going to you know, try a bunch of wines to give our personal opinions of what we think is good, why it's good, and, and take a look at the different approaches wineries in North Carolina are taking to uh, producing their wine. So with, with that being said, you want to jump into today's wine? Yep, today's wine we have from Shelton Vineyards, it also in the Yadkin Valley, a Cabernet Franc from 2005. Uh, we bought this wine at Total Wine, and it was... $10.50, I believe, okay. is the retail price on this wine. That's right, $10.50 uh, for a varietal from 2005, so that's pretty good. Uh, Shelton Vineyards is in Dobson, North Carolina, as I said, in the Yadkin Valley, which I think is these days one of the most fertile regions of North Carolina making wine. Correct, and, and I mean, Dobson is, is when you're, you're almost in Virginia, when you're up into the northern part of the Yadkin Valley, and that's kind of the area that Shelton Ven Vineyards is in. What I like about the packaging, we're going to go over the packaging real quick. Um, clean label. They've done a little fancy die cut here around the around the tree to kind of give it some shape. Cabernet Franc is a historically a, a French varietal of wine. It's normally mixed with other wines. Uh, normally Bordeaux in Bordeaux blends, normally mixed with Cabernet, uh, Merlot. Uh, so to see it on its own, it will be a pretty unique experience regardless of, of anything else Cabernet Franc on its own. Uh, what I like what they did here is that they have little thermometers on the back of their labels for all their wines. It, it's a wineometer actually. Wineometer. And I don't see a TM on there. If you're listening Shelton Vineyards, get a TM. Trademark it. This is pretty this is yeah. pretty good stuff. Wineometer, you're on it. Cuz your average pack your packaging right here is pretty average. It's mm -hmm. not bad. Right. You use a full wooden cork which is nice. Have that printed. But but I really like the back. This this is a nice touch. This pushes you into the above average packaging in my case. Because what this is do doing is, you know, people who don't know anything about Cabernet Franc, if they look at the back of this, they can say, okay, well, this is a medium bodied wine, because it's a six on the ten in terms of body. Mm -hmm. And in terms of sweetness to dry, it is bone dry. Okay. So it, it, we should have zero sweetness. It should be completely dry. And that way, you know, if you know you like sweet wines, you know this is, isn't the wine for you. So they're telling you right up front. They're setting people's expectations, right. which I think is a great thing that they're doing with this. And, and it's, a, it's a good way for someone to learn about wine. If you're in a wine store, maybe someone isn't always there to help you. You can pick up the bottle and know where it is on the, the sweet to dry scale and the body scale. Right, and, and let's face it, man. Wine is kind of nerdy, and it's intimidating. And, you know, if you watch Gary Vee and some of the other folks that are out there talking about wine in general, they're really trying to make a movement to change that, make wine more open and accessible. But things like this help. Things right. like this, what Shelton Vineyard's doing, it help because I don't have to feel intimidated. I don't have to feel like I have to ask somebody because I don't know what Cabernet Franc is. It doesn't right. matter. I can say, okay, I like dry wine, so mm -hmm. maybe I'll give this guy a shot and see if it's any good. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. We've already poured ourselves... Again, we're back with the plastic glasses because we're on the road. And so, Jeff, before we clink yep. and get the, get the show started, let's take a little look. Okay. What do we look like color-wise in our in our wine here? Well, it's, it's pretty dark. I yeah. Mean, it. I would say medium body is a good way to describe. Yeah. I, it, according to the wineometer so far, I'd say yeah. they're I'd say they're right on point. Okay. Okay. So now we want to uh, we want to clink. Real actually, quick? Let, let's take a take a take a good smell of the wine before we clink. Okay. Um. It smells dry, actually. <laughs> it does smell dry. I was thinking that same thing. What else? What else do you think it smells like? 
I, I am again sensing some some berry smell. I'm getting something else though that mm -hmm. is contradictory the berry. I, I'm smelling vegetables. Vegetables, okay. Do you smell vegetables? I believe that you smell vegetables. <laughs> Veg okay. Historically, Cabernet Franc normally has more vegetable type flavors to it okay. than than per se, say your Cabernet Sauvignon or Merlot. Normally, you'll get some green pepper, some onion kind of smell and flavor with okay. it. Okay. I, I kind of get that here. It's a little faint, but I get a little vegetal action here. So, okay. do you want to give this a go? Yep. Plink Let's it. have it a, a plastic clink. clink. I taste the vegetables, and it is definitely dry. Bone dry. Bone dry, right. says, says the winometer, and it's right. I mean, your tongue doesn't, it just goes yeah. like, Whoop. it's like somebody's putting a sleeve around your tongue as you drink the wine. It's like, yeah. um, so, but you taste the vegetables now. You maybe didn't I smell do. them initially, but I do. And is it kind of peppery? Like, but not like pepper that you put on your food, but like green pepper mm -hmm. chunks. It, it, it is a different... It's a very different kind of flavor. I, I like this one. I enjoy it a lot. It's very different, but it's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm imp I'm impressed, and I, I I'm a fan of the fruit driven wines. Yeah. I mean, you see, if you watched episode number two, <laughs> episode number two was our West Bend Riesling episode, mm -hmm. and we really liked it because I said it tasted like apple and honey. Right. I liked the sugar. I like mm -hmm. I like the fruit. It was good. But this is this is about as far opposite from right. that wine as you can possibly get. Completely bone dry, and and what they what they have managed to do with this Cabernet Franc wine, is it Franc or Frank? Franc. Franc. Okay. With this Cabernet Franc wine, is they have balanced the body, the fruit. I'm sorry, the body, the dryness, and the flavor. Yeah, I, I, I'm very impressed. Yeah. I think they've done an, an outstanding job with this. And the and the winometer. Rules. The winometer <laughs> is dead on. Yeah. This is a good bottle of wine. Yeah. Um, it, I could like a little bit more body. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit more yeah, body. Yeah, I could see that. you got to be down with some vegetable component in your mm -hmm. wine, because this, this wine doesn't taste like fruit at all, really. Right. It smells a little bit like fruit. I think you were dead on with that. Uh-huh. But taste-wise, it kind of tastes like green peppers in red wine, if that makes sense to you. I mean, uh, it, it does a little bit. And... And something that we want to remind you as we're doing this show, we don't have a spit bucket. We're never going to have a spit bucket. We're, we drink the wine. But you're going to drink it. the wine. We're going to drink the wine. That's you're right. not, I don't expect any of you to spit out wine. Right. Some of you may, then that's fine. But, you know, we're drinking it. And, you know, we're, we're moving along just trying to see what we can do. So, you know, it's a better use of our time to not edit. We'll leave that in there. It's kind of funny, really. Right. I mean, <laughs> see Jeff and I like, shit, what the hell happened? <laughs> we, were, we were banking on a plane, not flying it over. But what do you think? I mean, I would, I would get a gesture to say, if you and I have sit here talking, drink. This is I, the, this is the <laughs> most consumed wine on North Carolina wine TV so far. That's is right. It not? Yes. Th this get a North Carolina wine TV two glasses up. Uh, yeah, are are we, we developing some more ratings? Yeah, we can do this. I mean, basically, instead of the number 100 scale, we'll say, you know, some, sometimes I may like it, but Jeff may hate it. Right. But everybody likes different things. You and I both like this wine. So yes. it's probably a sign that it appeals to a wide right. variety of people. Right. Jeff and I like different food, like, mm -hmm. we have very different tastes. It's good. Yeah. The Shelton Vineyards, we're going to have to make a trip out there. Yeah, I think so. Apparently.